All right, folks. Um, God bless you guys. Um, I told y'all I had a video that was going to be a spatula moment for you. A lot of people don't know what that means, so I thought I'd you know take a moment and share with you what that means for the people that don't know what that means. It's kind of an inside joke thing. Not so much a joke as it is actual reality. I'll show you what it means and I'll give you a, a little example of it. I have a really great example to share with you. Um, I'm going to use this video to explain that and then I'm going to show you guys. <clears throat> we're going to use a couple venues during this next video. The spatula destroy your mind video. The Bible is going to, going to explode, explode in understanding on the next video. I guarantee it. So, <clears throat> I mean, it exploded even more for me. So if it exploded for me, and all I'm going to do is pass on what was shared with me through the Spirit, then you guys, I guarantee you, are going to have a mind explosion. It's amazing. Literally amazing. A couple of my best friends have just been, like, seriously awestruck. Just like, oh, my gosh. This is unbelievable. So anyway, that's kind of what a spatula moment is. I'm going to use this video to tell you what a spatula moment is for the people that don't know. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these two other venues. I want to make sure the audio is working correctly during this video. Because if I do an hour video and then I, I load it up and I find out the audio is all jacked up, it's just going to be like, oh, I have been working on this data for two days to organize it for you guys. Okay, so let's do what a spatula moment is. Let me give an example. Okay, here is a performance by a 13-year-old girl on America's Got Talent. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you what the concept of, you know, when I say y'all are going to have a spatula moment means your preconceived ideas, your perception versus reality is going to be challenged. When it's challenged, a lot of people go and their bottom jaw just flies open. And my joke about the spatula moment is you're going to need a spatula because your jaw is going to be like to pick your jaw up. You're going to need a spatula because your jaw is going to be so far down there you're going to have to use a spatula to scrape it and pick your jaw up because your mouth should be literally hanging open in astonishment at what you're seeing. Let me give you a great example. And hopefully this won't be a codex issue. I don't think so. But you're going to see a very, very meek, very mousy little 13-year-old girl. Here she's on America's Got Talent. And I'm like I said, I'm just using this as an example. Uh, this is a spatula moment. Okay, so here we go. We'll go for here for about five seconds. And how old are you? Thirteen. Oh, Thirteen. Wow. Um, what's your favorite subject in school? Music. What kind of music? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so she's a really mousy little girl. Uh, very sweet. Um, now let's go. So she's, you know, they're they're interviewing her before she begins her performance. And now I'll go to the one minute, seven second mark. And so we'll get this thing to where it starts and we'll go to the 120 mark. So here we go. So she's getting ready to do her thing. Here we go. Okay, there there was a spatula moment. I think this is Tyra Banks. Look at her mouth hanging open. She's like, what the heck? It, because her perception is being challenged on what they saw. Here's a 13-year-old, very meek, very mousy little non, you know, no, she doesn't look like any kind of a big personality, that's for sure. But when she starts singing... It's like, what in the... And so they're all having their spatula moment. And then this is a, a, a typical reaction. I'll go to the 145 mark. 
Now, the girl that's the model, listen to what she says. Hopefully the volume's all the way up. Let me turn my computer volume all the way up. There we go. Okay, listen. Okay, and she was so, you know, oh my God. Well, <clears throat> that's funny. A lot of people throw that word around. We're not supposed to use the Lord's name in vain, just vainly throwing it out there. A lot of people, you know, just use it like it's nothing. Um, it's appropriate sometimes to say, oh my God, because, you know, it's appropriate. But, you know, this little girl just stunned everybody so much that, for the world, that's kind of like a spatula moment thing where they need the spatula. I don't even know what I did with the spatula. You need the spatula to pick your jaw up and close your mouth because your mouth is hanging open like Tyra Banks. I believe that's Tyra Banks um, right here. There you go. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a look of complete disbelief. Okay, what I'm going to share with you in the upcoming video, you're going to have repetitive spatula moments on the Word of God, the meaning of the Word of God, and the revelation gift that the Lord God gave me that has unlocked the scroll. The scroll is wide open. It's unlocked. It's, for, it's ready for everybody to understand. Everybody can see and understand it. All you have to do is put the key in the lock, turn it upside down, and the door opens, the scroll opens. Just like Mick Jagger was saying, as heads as tails. Just call me Lucifer. Head, if you look at a quarter, and I don't have one here, but I've shown it to you before. I do have one. If you look at a quarter, if you're looking at heads, let's turn heads right side up. There you go. If you're looking at heads and you just rotate it as heads as tails, it means as right side up is upside down. So, you know, Lucifer and his kingdom, he has a hidden kingdom. He has the, he's the prince of the power of darkness. The prince of darkness, prince of the power of the air, prince of darkness. This is his world. A lot of people don't understand that. They think, oh no, it's God's world. Not exactly. No. Jesus said, I am come into this world that those that see not might see and those that see might be made blind. So Jesus took on a host body and came into this world. The Lord God took on, I should say, the Lord God I am took on a host body and that host body was named Jesus. So I am came into this world via Jesus to bear witness to the truth. Y'all are going to see something you've never seen. You're going to see data you've never seen ever seen, never even imagined. I'm going to show you Satan's church on earth. A lot of people think it's just the Vatican. It's a lot bigger than that. I guarantee it. It's just, you know, it's a matter of perception versus reality, just like this little girl. I mean, you know, you see one thing and you're expecting something, but then you saw something quite different, didn't you? Spatula moment. Okay, so now let's let's test some programs here. Uh, one thing we're going to do is we're going to use, this is called St. Peter's Tour. Okay, now I want to show you something. We're looking down at St. Peter's Basilica, royal abode of the basilisk, which is a serpent that kills with its breath or with its look. So here is a virtual tour. But you can see right here, this is the head of the serpent. There's that tongue coming out of the mouth. Let me see if I can stretch that. There it is. So there's the head of the serpent. And this sidewalk, the sidewalk right here, that's the tongue that's coming out of the mouth. And I will show it to you right there because I've taken the time to make it easy for you to see. I drew in every line on that crown. I took a Sharpie marker. I drew in every line. I outlined it. I drew in the sidewalk. I colored it. And I colored the Palacio de Gubernare. So you can see that it's two identical buildings joined together by a building in the middle. And the one that walks in the middle, that represents the one that runs the dualistic truth and lies system. That's what it means when a serpent, someone says you speak with a forked tongue, like the Indians used to say. You speak truth and want lies, which is everybody in the world 
unless you've been converted. When I got converted, the number one thing the Lord told me was 100% no lying. If you want to you want to receive me, you want to receive my truth, you may not lie even 1%. And the way I received it all is he turned everything upside down. He gave me the key of David the night I got saved. So anyway, I've got a lot to share with y'all, a lot to give you. I mean, this is the gift that keeps on giving. So here we go. Let's go to this. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to drop in. Now, y'all know that right here, number one, this is the nose of the serpent. And there's the tongue, obviously, right there. So that's at the serpent's mouth. Let me go. Let me go back the other direction because I want to I want to set up this next video with some basic data before before we go into it. Because there's, it's so profound, it's so mind-boggling that anyone that hasn't seen this, you need a little bit of a refresher course anyway. So anyway, see that black, that black square right there? It's right here. Uh, I'm going to enlarge this full size. And then I'm going to slide this over and I'm going to slide that up. You can see there's a window right there. That window is the altar of St. Peter on the inside. So the sunlight goes through that window, and when it goes through that window, that is the sunlight that's going in the mouth of a serpent. So the sun going through this window is going into the Vatican, and it's coming through a window, and the window that it's coming through is this window right here that's above the head of the sheep. I mean, I'm sorry, let me... Uh... Sorry, there you go, right there. So the window that's above the head of the sheep, right there is that square window. You can see that this is really a square or a rectangle as it is. See the rectangular window right here? But the altar has been built into that opening, and then that uh, is really uh, made out of a clear stone that diffuses light. I believe it's alabaster. So anyway, there you go. And that's called the window of the Holy Spirit. So there you go. Now, let's go here. So now we're looking at the nose of the serpent. Okay, and now I need to do a quick test. We're going to drop in here. Okay, now I'm just test, test, test. One, two, three, test, test. Okay, you're looking at the dead sheep. I don't know if y'all can hear volume from the chanting or not. Now I'm turning it up. Okay, that was a test. Now I'm going to retest it, just so when I do my playbacks, I know where the volume feed is coming from. So I'm gonna pause this again. Again, this is the head of the serpent. This is a virtual tour. This is amazing to have this available to us. Anyway, I believe that the way this works is, and I don't, I don't want to have uh, playback issues, and I don't want to have volume issues, and I don't want to have what's called dark screen issues. And sometimes when you back out of this program and you start it up again, everything that records after you backed out is real dark. Maybe you all have seen that before. Some people have said, oh, wow, the video got really dark. I don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm doing this video. I'm giving you guys little data, and I'm testing this thing just to see how it's going to work out. Okay, I'm glad I tested this because there is an anomaly that's kind of fighting against the Screencast-O-Matic program, and it requires that I do it in a sequential order. I have to turn the volume off before we, we do the virtual tour, which is fine. So that means I can't do any recording from videos during this recording, the next recording that is. Um, so now I understand what I have to do. Okay, anyway, spatula moments are coming up, folks. This is going to destroy, again, Satan's kingdom. I'm here to make visible that which was concealed. That is, you know, my mission. I was given a vision company. The Lord made sure I had a vision company when I got saved called Vampires Vlad Eyewear. Come out of the darkness into the light um, with Vlad Eyewear. So at the time I was called by the Lord, he made sure that my life would reflect 
what it is he wanted me to do for his kingdom because he literally called me out of the darkness into his marvelous light, First Peter 2. And um, then he, he turned me as an agent against the enemy now. So now what I do is I make manifest that which is concealed. My cause is and my purpose is to bear witness to the truth. I am a witness to the truth. Remember that. I'm going to show you some stuff on this next video. I was called to bear witness to the truth. That's what I was called to do. And the way I do it is I simply turn everything upside down so you can see the truth. So you can see where you are because you got carried away. You were led astray somewhere. You don't belong. For those of us that don't belong in this world, you'll know you don't belong here when you see it. For those of you that do, you won't have ears to hear or eyes to see. That's why Jesus said, I am come into this world that those to, to give sight to the blind and to show those that think they see that they are blind. That those that see that, that see not might see and those that see might be made blind. So we're going to go through that on this next video. You're going to see a bunch of data you've never, ever seen. Never. I'd never seen it until just recently, just within the last couple days. So I got it already. I've been diligently plugging away at it. I always want to make sure I have a completely firm understanding before I walk into class and deliver it. I don't want to give it to you guys without me completely comprehending and completely understanding what was revealed to me. So I got it. I understand it now completely. So I'll drop the bomb today. Um, just go get your spatulas. Yeah, go find a spatula. You're going to need it. All right, God bless.